is an actress and model you know from Suicide Squad and every magazine cover. She now stars in Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Listen, I don't want to tell you guys how to do your jobs, but don't you think you should cuff me? Firstly, because it's protocol, but secondly, because I'm very tempted to escape. <laughs> Good job, boys. Please welcome Cara Delevingne. The ab absolutely beautiful I outfit. I would fit in with the chairs. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you just look like a floating applause. head yeah. when this is broadcast. That's what I was hoping, yeah. But it's a lovely head. Look, you even have uh, you even have like clothing on the back of your head. Look at that. Oh, I think I must have laid down in the tin foil again. No, I just thought it would be something nice. That's extraordinary. It's yeah. great for a science fiction movie. You know, promoting that. You look like your head is from the future. That's that's the point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to keep it futuristic. You know, ahead of the times. How old were you when you first started modeling? Um. Well, I was kind of, you know, uh, I think I was probably about eight, eight, nine, or ten. Yeah. How how old are you in this photo right here? Can I ask uh, what's happening <laughs> in this photo right there? What is happening there? Um, so basically, no, I I, I was a bit of a. Uh, I think my um, relationship with fashion. I think my parents tried to keep clothes on me most of the time. I think that was more. I was more into the nudist kind of thing as a kid. And one day after school, my mom picked me up and was like just took me to this place where there was a guy with a camera. That sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But actually, it was funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. no, it was... Uh, and then I was doing a shoot with this dog, and all I remember was everyone was laughing me a lot because I think the, the pug kept getting an erection, and I didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Story's not getting better. No. <laughs> so, what I don't is, know. That, that's the years of therapy. That's where I come Why from. do you have Liza Minnelli on? Like, what product is being sold in this photograph, Jim? What product? Are we selling the hat? Are we selling the pocketbook? Is it this Mick Jagger t-shirt? I Do clearly don't know what's going on. I'm like, what is this? Uh, <laughs> who's that? No idea. <laughs> mom, were you excited? Did you enjoy this? Or it was like, Mom, do I have to do that again? I just didn't really understand what was going on. I was like, when can I go back to sports day? But it was funny. It was definitely started off. What did you play? You, 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 you played sports? Yeah, uh, I was. I'm a, I love games a lot. So okay. any, anything really. A passion for games. Anything that I can win. Well, what are you good at? What can you win? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no. This is not join, good. Hands, join hands like this. See, right? I stopped training, so this is a bad, you, this is a bad you idea. But you, 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 you kick ass in this movie. Oh, God. One. Yeah, don't handcuff me. Cause... Two. <laughs> you started. You cheated. Did I? Do you start on two in England? Oh. <laughs> That's where the garlic I'll comes cough in. I'll cough on then. you. Oh. Gonna... There you go. Sorry. I beat a girl! Oh. Ah. I beat a girl! That's what it's about, right? I left. Like I'm really looking forward to this movie, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Me too. And not just because you're kicking ass, but because it's Luc Besson. Amazing, unbelievable. Cinematic hero. Exactly. Yeah. Are you in this? I mean, I've seen uh, clips and, I, and I've seen the trailer. Is it all just you in a green room, or did you spend time with people who weren't wearing ping pong Pretty balls? Pretty much this. Well, no, actually, it was it was about ninety percent blue screen. So mm -hmm. all of the stuff you see, there were very very little sets. But the thing is about this movie is Luke, Luke Besson, who to me he introduced me to sci-fi. You know, the Fifth Element. He really. He really pushes the boundaries in terms of this, and with in this movie especially, you know, he's wanted to make it since he was a kid. You know, Valerian and Laureline is a French comic book that mm -hmm. he fell in love with, and it inspired him to write and direct. Um, so basically, the all the things that you see, he's been you know trying to make his entire life. And so when we were doing it, his passion and his love. Every day we walk in, and he had the biggest smile on his face. He'd give us the biggest hug. He's been working on this movie for ten years, and after we finished filming for six months, he worked on it for another year, and is still, you know, so passionate and happy about it. it really I understand is it's amazing. it's 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 called an indie, um, but it's the yeah. most expensive indie ever made at 180 million dollars. Yeah. What was so expensive? Was it? Was well, it... I am pretty expensive, so. Wow. About... <laughs> <laughs> One thing that uh, I saw you in um, uh, Paper Towns first, which was a really lovely movie. I watched it with my kids. And you're an American in that. 
Yes. And spoiler alert, you have, you have an English accent. And, yes. Oh, yeah. But also in this movie, you don't have an English accent. Why, if you're in space in the future and there are a thousand planets, can't you just have your English accent? Because it was basically meant to be like a mid-Atlantic thing where all... It was kind of... Out with the Titanic? What do you mean, mid-Atlantic? Mid-Atlantic. <laughs> That's a, you can drown out there. Don't go out there. No, wait, Herodotal is it Mid-Atlantic or Mid-Pacific? It was basically, it was kind of a mixture of what an English-American accent would sound like. You uh -huh. know, everyone kind of has like a general accent. We thought it would be um, strange if I had an English accent and Dane had an American one. Why do you think it is? I've never done a movie with an English accent, so. That's what, that, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Do you want to? No. No? <laughs> well, I, to I... be honest, I actually, I love doing accents. I grew up doing them as a kid. Um, actually, it annoyed my family a lot, but now it actually... Do you have a favorite off. accent other than American, or...? Oh. Can you do an American Southern accent? Okay, but someone has to do it and I have to copy them, because otherwise it's hard. Um, my name is Stephen Colbert. My name is Stephen Colbert. Wow, that's real good. What's real good? You're real good. You're real good. I don't, I don't know. I, I've I never, never met a girl, girl like you before. before. <laughs> I didn't go very well, did it? Yeah. You want to arm wrestle? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I have short-term memory, really so good. that would have been... That's really good. Yeah, that's lovely. You. I like an Irish accent. Uh, that's Can tough. That's tough for Americans to do. We end up sounding like the Lucky Charms guy. Do you like your coffee black or white, huh? That's South, South African. African's the yeah. hardest. Is it? Because it always slips over into Australian for yeah. us. Yeah, well... You know, you go below the equator and we're totally it's just lost. Gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lost so, did you like? Could you like pretend you had another accent when you would meet like strangers or something? One of my favorite things to do is when I meet someone is just go completely off, you know, off grid and just kind of switch in between accents and then try and them to try and guess where I'm actually from. It really freaks people out. Where in England are you actually from? I'm from London. Okay, which is so standard. Standard. What we think of as an English General, accent. Yeah, most people think I'm Australian most of the time, especially in America. They're like, "You're from Australia." I'm like, "Sure." Why would they think you're Australia? There's no kangaroo. You don't have a knife. I don't have a knife. <laughs> I'm not putting shrimp on the bone. Oh, no, let's no. Not. <laughs> one of the things I, uh, one of the things you and I have in common oh. is that we both, uh, we both rock a hard eyebrow game. We both model. Yeah. Clearly. A little bit. Yeah. I just do it for sport. <laughs> um, me too. They asked me to Call leave. Me. Um, but you have uh, absolutely uh, fantastic eyebrows. I, I mean, you are an eyebrow inspiration to me. I've watched really? the things you do. Yeah. An eyebrow inspiration. An eyebrow inspiration. <laughs> well, you have a lot of uh, range and muscle in those brows. Mm -hmm. You basically have a six-pack running down. I can see it's hidden by hat. It's the only part of my body that's fit. Is Rip my it's eyebrow. Ri rippled. Yeah. yeah. Can, can you uh, my do, do, you, do any tricks? Do any eyebrow tricks? I, Hold on, I'll do mine. And let, okay, let's get in together. Let's get in together really here. Good. Okay. There. I mean, I literally don't have that much range. I'm so impressed. Oh, that's good. That's good. But like both of yours move, you should learn how to do a wave down them. And oh, we could no. have passed it along. I know the hours I've wasted trying. <laughs> Wait. This is the new cover of Vogue, by the way, right here. But this one, this one doesn't move at all. It's just this one. This, this one moves? Yeah, I lost the... I'll uh... hold this one. Try the other one. <laughs> you did it! Oh, Thank you. Thank you. It was lovely to meet you, yeah, Cara Delevingne. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets premieres today. Cara Delevingne, everybody. We'll be right back.